This might look like an ordinary home. Your parents might have that same car. A sitting room belonging to a regular family. But chances are, your problems are nothing in comparison to the battles these people face every day. If you thought life was difficult, think again. This is because 21-year-old Samantha has been struck with hypertonic cerebral palsy and brain damage since birth. On top of this, Samantha has also had episodes of epileptic fits. But thanks to advances in medicine and her parents' undying love, she is free from the pain. Um, okay, Sam was born premature, very premature, about 10 weeks premature. And uh, actually, she was actually one of a pair of twins. And because the other twin had a heart condition and she died in gestation, so the, the twin's death affected the oxygen flow to Sam's brain. Uh, beginning, it was very hard because we didn't know how to uh, take care of a, a, specially, a special needs child. And uh, there was a lot of effort needed. She was always going in, out of, in and out of hospital uh, because of her conditions. Therefore, it was a very steep learning curve for us. But as we grew, to, uh, as we grew with her, going through all the therapy sessions with her and understanding her condition much more, we found that uh, you know, it was, it was uh, quite a joy to look after her. I guess it's not easy to accept when the doctor tells you that your child will not lead a normal life. It is very shocking and I remember at the moment not to really understand what does it mean for a child not to lead a normal life. So only later we found out that she will not be able to walk, to take food normally and to be able to enjoy life as any other normal child would. But it's then and then that we have also decided that we will therefore do whatever we can to get her involved in our daily lives, bring her out whenever we can so that she can enjoy life as any other normal child would. It's true trial and error and understanding. As you see her answering now, that's a way to express her joy and a way her wanting to take part in what we are doing. Not being able to lead a normal life should not deprive her a chance to be a normal life.